My name is Howard Martin. I'm the Executive Vice President with HeartMath. We develop technology measuring heart rhythms. Heart rhythms are a real important measurement of the communication taking place between the heart and the brain, also uh, balancing the nervous system, the, what's called the autonomic nervous system, which is a very important part of our physiology. Uh, heart rhythm analysis is used as a measurement of aging, for example, so it uses a measurement of cardiovascular efficiency. And uh, we use this in our research. Well, I think the research done around um, you know, heart mass and others around the power of the heart, and looking at you know, the heart as a, not only a, well, it's certainly more than a blood pump, and we know that it sends information to the brain and the rest of the body, and that it actually sends information through the electromagnetic field of the heart that radiates beyond the skin out into space. But beyond that, I believe that the heart is also a sensory organ. It senses things. It learns, it remembers. It's like a bioreceptor. And we know that that occurs, but now the exciting research to me is that it goes beyond what we're looking at through traditional research models. Is that I believe, and if I may take you know, a non-scientific terminology approach to this, is I believe that it is through the heart that our spirit really integrates with our humanness. And you know, that's where it happens. I mean, the brain gets credit for it because that's where we experience thoughts and we have visions and see things, et cetera. But my belief is the heart is communicating with the brain at super high speed, that the actual entry point in the human system comes through the heart and that it transmits the experience to the brain where we perceive it with the normal five senses. Now, that's exciting new research and there's a lot more to go around understanding that. Electromagnetic energy radiating from the beating heart. Now that's measured with a magnetometer. It's, it's, it's basically like radio waves. So it's a very measurable energy. Now that's one measurement, but when you look at new research that's coming out, looking at, you know, through physics, through the, you know, quantum physics, through the concept of, you know, non-locality and some of these other physics, you know, um, constructs that are entering the world today, and you look at um, research being done around, say, subtle energy, which is, you know, much harder to measure, much more difficult to pin down. If the heart is the strongest source of bioelectricity in the physical body, it makes sense to me that there's a lot more going on with the radiations of the heart than simply what we're measuring through looking at, you know, electromagnetic signals from the heart. We know how to measure individual coherence. We've, we've done that. We figured that out. We've developed consumer-oriented products that train people how to do it for themselves. So that, that we know at HeartMath. The next phase for us is measuring global coherence. Uh, to that end, we are developing new technology that can very sensitively detect fluctuations in the Earth's magnetic field. Now, this is kind of interesting and important in many ways because if we understand where these fluctuations are and if they're occurring because of things that are not happening uh, normally, like say, for instance, solar flare, flares do impact the electromagnetic field of the Earth, but if they're happening for other reasons, then we want to know why. One of our hypotheses is, is that human emotion changes the electromagnetic field of the Earth. And that if you had a large number of people experiencing a similar emotion, you could see that in the changes that our technology uh, could detect. Uh, the random number generator experiments that Dean Radin and others have done, for instance, showed a tremendous fluctuation in random number generation data at 9-11. There's also uh, some information now, actually Dean Radin gave us a slide showing uh, two uh, U.S. government space satellites that were measuring space weather that showed tremendous fluctuations in the electromagnetic uh, signals, excuse me, field of the Earth at 9-11 and the days afterwards. So that's an early stage, but the hypothesis would be you have millions and millions, if not billions of people experiencing some pretty interesting negative emotions, fear and anxiety and insecurity, all simultaneously, and that those human emotions in some way impacted the electromagnetic field of the Earth, and, they, and we believe they could be detected. So let's say, for instance, we can see this. We understand these fluctuations go on, and we see an area in the world where there's a tremendous fluctuation, and we understand that it could be coming from an, an, an event that's happened, you know, a terrorist event, a natural disaster, or, um, something else. And then we take the groups of people around the world who understand the power of intentionality, and there are groups that focus on, you know, say, sending uh, love and care and doing meditations for the world and these kind of things. What if we had a place where all of them could come to, a community of all the different groups, able to see where the need was by looking at the electromagnetic field changes in the earth, and then focus 
the type of care and love and coherent heart on those areas to help that situation from an energetic perspective. That's the goal. So we want to put a hundred of these sensors around the world. We want to network those sensors into a central location, have the data you know, uh, correlated, analyzed, and then displayed through a, a very sophisticated website. Some place we could all go to every day and see what's going on in the Earth's electromagnetic field. And then when we see need to be able to organize the groups and focus on doing something about it. That's HeartMath's next big project, measuring global coherence, not just to measure it, but so we can um, bring more focus to the wonderful intentions that many people today have to send love and care and, and heart to, uh, to the people in situations in need.